Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. Going to be checking out another musical performance today. It's been a little while since I had a chance to do a music reaction, so I'm pretty excited about it. As you can see, Nala is here <laughs> with me, so I'm expecting her to jump up on my lap at any second. Um, but yes, today we're going to be checking out another performance by Liliac. Um, this is another cover of theirs. It's going to be a cover of Seven Nation Army, which is, of course, from the White Stripes. I'm really curious to see what they're going to do with this. Um, it's a very different sort of song from their previous one that I listened to, which was Holy Diver, of course, from Dio. And I decided to do this cover because it seems that it is a more recent one. And a lot of you guys in the comments... Oh, come on, Nala. Yes, you can come up. Ah! Throw it off my light balance. <laughs> a lot of you guys in the comments had said that you felt it would be good for me to check out something of theirs that is more recent, um, since the Holy Diver cover was one of their older, um, or at least from a few years ago, pieces. So I decided to go with this one for now. I know that they also have some original songs that you guys might be interested in hearing me uh, or seeing me react to and having me hear. Um, so do let me know in the comments if there are specific ones that you prefer that I check out. I thought that I would do this today since it's been a little while uh, since I got to check anything out at all. So I am looking forward to this. Hope you guys will enjoy. Let's check it out together. Seven Nation Army. Here we go. Okay, that's a little bit of a change there. Epic at the entrance. I love this with the fog in the background. Woo! All right, you guys weren't kidding when you said the production is kind of jumped up quite a bit. Oh, okay. Hold on. She looks fantastic. Oh, this is sick. Okay, okay, this is already sick. I want those boots. Oh, her voice is fantastic for this. Woo! I like this. See, it seems like a lot of the little additional stuff that they're including. Like this part that isn't exactly... Yeah, that isn't exactly in the original. They're just adding in some more metal style stuff. Like this, this is sick! And I didn't even think about how the white stripe color palette is so perfect for them, too. Woo! Like this right here, there's the metal! <laughs> guitar solo. It's such a such a famous bass line. It's fantastic. But the additions that the, the guitar that they included in the background is Wow. 
that part's cool. Harmonizing with herself. She looks badass! Oh my god. Okay! Alright. That was badass. That was badass. That was the cover of the White Stripes Seven Nation Army. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna start off by saying, yeah, you guys, obviously the production is, is quite a, a jump between uh, their Holy Diver video and this. Though I do have to say, and I, I was trying to convey this in my Holy Diver reaction and I don't know how well it came across, but even though it was like a very simple uh, video in terms of production, the Holy Diver one, I still thought that it was really well done and that thematically it worked really well. And uh, I mean, I thought it was so for the small amount of resources that they had, I think it was fantastic. And this also, I mean, this is great. Okay. So it's also very simple, but of course the original Seven Nation Army video was as well. And lo lots of things were just coming to me as I was going through this about how perfect this actually was um, for, <laughs> for them. Because of course, it's not just that they are a metal band. You guys have, have let me know that they are vamp metal. Um, so the idea of this with the, the black, white, and red color scheme of the white stripes is really, really quite appropriate. Um, and they looked fantastic. Um, so there's a lot of little things that they added into this to make it metal. And this, this is kind of what I was getting back to, you know, at the beginning when I was saying, I wonder what this is going to be like, because this is such a, a like well-known rock song. Like White Stripes, Seven Nation Army is just a, a like simple, straightforward rock song that people really thoroughly enjoy. And I imagined that they were going to want to incorporate some more metal aspects into it since they are a, mostly, my understanding is, metal group. And I wasn't really sure exactly what that was going to be like. Um, and I think they did a really great job with it because they didn't overdo it. And I think that is something that it could be it could be very easy for a group trying to cover this song in a metal way to do, right? Um, but they kept it in, in like a, a way that they definitely added their own metal twist to it, but it didn't like completely overwhelm the song. So it's still the same song. It's still recognizable. It still has the same kind of heart to it. Um, but the little elements they added with her her vocal um, performance and then of course just just like some guitar riffs in the background over over top of say like the bass line and, and, and you know just subtle touches that make it just just kind of just right for an adaptation um, or a cover in in my my point of view anyway not that I'm the arbiter of these things because I'm just somebody that likes music um, they also did a great job, like the the smoke in the background in the scenes um, at the beginning when they were all kind of one at a time being shown their silhouettes before they flashed into the actual light uh, scenes. But so just little elements like that. And of course, their outfits choices to, to make it have a metal flair while still retaining the heart of the original. So I thought that was great. Um, they all looked fantastic, sounded fantastic. There's a part of me that feels like I like this version better than the original, which I know is always blasphemous to say when you're talking about a cover song of something, but I like the addition of the metal elements. I feel like, I, I don't know, I, it just maybe it speaks to me more, is more in tune with like what I enjoy. Although this is, even the original of this is just a song that you can't help like trying to drum along too, right? So yeah, so I thought this was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a uh, pleasant surprise because I wasn't sure exactly what they were going to do with it, but they made it their own in a way that still, uh, still let it have 
retaining the heart and spirit of the original. So it was very well done. And yeah. I don't really have anything else to say because like I've said before, guys, I'm not a music critic. I'm just somebody that enjoys music and checking out new things. So hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed checking this out with me. Again, as I said before, I want to know your suggestions for their originals, which you think I should check out. And of course, any other covers that they have or other groups you want to recommend. Please do leave those down in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.